turns out I've been using a moisturizer that is almost 40 years old. Doesn't bode well for my skin, does it? I should clarify things though. The formulation is almost 40 years old. It was created back in 1984, along with the founding of this company, New Skin Enterprises, with that very interesting principle of using all of the good ingredients and none of the bad ingredients. Now, at the time, they were told they were absolutely crazy for doing that because the raw ingredients would cost too much. The products would end up being way too expensive. They wouldn't be able to sell anything. There wouldn't be enough profit margin in it for long-term growth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Luckily, they didn't listen to them because they went ahead and they formulated these products using all of these great ingredients. None of the nasty, cheap filler stuff that most of the market was using. And an interesting thing happened. People kept coming back for more. And this was one of the key 12 products that they launched with, NAPCA Moisturizer. And I can totally understand why people kept coming back for more. And they have continued to use this throughout the decades all around the world. So I got really curious because uh, I actually received this as a gift, a little bonus, and uh, I have never actually tried this product. I've always been using other moisturizers because there's a, a huge range with new skin and there's a bunch of fantastic products to try. Uh, so this one sat in my cupboard for a little while until I finished up my other moisturizer and I thought I'll give this a go and see what it's like. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I'm absolutely loving it. It is really light, it's really refreshing, it hydrates the skin well, it seals in the moisture and it seems to draw moisture uh, to my skin. And so it's winter time in Australia right now and that's something that I need, but it's not really heavy like you would expect for something that's gonna hold the moisture really well. And as a guy, I don't like heavy creams. So when I went online to check out the product information on NAPCA Moisturizer, this is what I found. It contains vitamin E, which explains uh, the nourishing feeling that it gives to the skin. That's a very potent antioxidant. It is packed with hyaluronic acid. Now that is a very interesting ingredient in itself because today you cannot walk down a skincare aisle without encountering hyaluronic acid multiple times. And it is broadcast everywhere. Most people are aware of that strange sounding, difficult to pronounce acid that uh, is very beneficial and hydrating for your skin. However, that has been the case for a very long time and it's not a new ingredient. It's just uh, over the last few years, it's gotten more notoriety out there in society and a lot of companies are broadcasting and saying, we contain hyaluronic acid, this new hyaluronic acid cream. Well, New Skin's been doing it for nearly 40 years. <laughs> this is just one of our, pro our products that contains hyaluronic acid. And that's just one of those great ingredients that they kicked things off with and that helped them have phenomenal growth. So the other one is of course NAPCA, the humectant NAPCA. So what exactly is NAPCA? Well, forgive me, I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation here. So sodium pyrolidine carboxylic, carboxylic acid. Something like that. And what that is, is a humectant that is found inside your skin in abundance. However, when you experience, let's say a windy day, uh, too much sun exposure, uh, air conditioning, when uh, it's getting drier, when it's winter time, or maybe when you're dehydrated, as many people are, then your skin gets depleted of the NAPCA. And what happens is that NAPCA is responsible for binding with moisture and holding it to the skin to hydrate the skin. So what NAPCA moisturizer does is of course, packed full of it, so it uh, applies it to the skin, it draws moisture from the atmosphere and holds it to your skin, hydrating the skin. So it's replenishing that lost NAPCA. And it, it, if you want a visual of that, you know when you cut a, uh, a pumpkin, and you cut it, you leave it on a bench for a little while and it'll get that uh, little droplets all around the edge, kind of dewy droplets. Well, that's the humectant that is drawing the moisture from the air to it. 
and that's a very visual representation of essentially what this is doing for the skin as well. And then there, of course there is aloe vera, which is another one of the favored ingredients. And it's not just any aloe vera, it's aloe vera that is uh, the active component of the aloe vera that's sourced from plants that are at least six years old because that's when they have the uh, beneficial ingredients in it. And uh, it's not just using the entire plant, it's using only the active components. So again, this all comes down to the quality of the ingredients and that is how this has been uh, such a popular product and continues to be a popular product around the world for so many decades. So it's great for supporting the natural barrier of the skin. It's hydrating, of course, it's soothing the skin. It's a very light formulation, so it's a light cream uh, and it's not greasy at all. Now there is also the NAPCA Moisture Mist, which you can spray, it's like the liquid version of this um, moisturizer. And that's just something that you spray to refresh yourself throughout the day. It also is packed with NAPCA humectant and hyaluronic acid as well for hydrating the skin. So that is a little introduction to uh, an oldie, but a goodie. <laughs> it's been around for so long and uh, it still delivers the results. It is very affordable. So if you're looking for just a basic product with good ingredients that is going to not mess up your skin, that it, it's just going to be giving you the hydration that you need and that moisturization that you need and a little protective barrier throughout the day that uh, feels lovely and smooth and soft then this is the one for you. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little more anti-aging focus, that uh, does a little more work or is a little more advanced, there is a whole other range of moisturizers which I'm gonna create a video for. So be sure to hit the like button on this video so that uh, YouTube shows you the next episode and be sure to subscribe as well and you can turn on the notifications so you get notified every time I create a video like this. Now also if you're watching this going you know what any company that still has a product that's 40 years old and it's still popular still being sold around the world is doing something right and I would love to partner with them and help them expand and share these products into the market. I'm so glad that uh, you notice that and if you're asking how do I do that, well, I'm here to help guide you. So you can contact me at kurtnewskin at gmail.com because I'm actively expanding my business around the world right now and I'm looking for great people like yourself to help expand with as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. If you wanna reach me on Facebook, you can find me under Kurt Provost or Instagram under Kurt Provost as well. I think there's an underscore in there somewhere, but you'll figure it out and we will chat one way or another. So that's it for today, guys. My name is Kurt Provost, your guide to all things new skin, and I'll see you in a future episode. Ciao.